game two of the series. Huskies lose this one three to two to Seton Hall. As uh, the Huskies, uh, another threat in the ninth inning. You guys able to get a run on the board. Bases loaded there for Prado and just pops up on the three one pitch. Yeah, you know, I, I thought he was going to get a base hit for sure there, and uh, or it was going to be ball four. And uh, you know, he's been really good for us. He's going to be good, good again tomorrow. And um, just, you know, just popped up a three one. What are you going to do? Um, I was more upset with the fact that he didn't have enough quality bats earlier in the game. Kids throwing a really good change up and we didn't sit on one and just take it the other way. It seemed like we were trying to pull too much today and uh, didn't string together good at bats. You know, not, not competitive enough at bats. And Coach Oregon said it in the post game. We, I think the kid had their starter had such a low pitch count for the six innings. We weren't, weren't working them. He throws strikes, but we were making them look really, really good. He got a tip his pass, too. He did a very good job. We never made him adjust to the plan all day. Pitching-wise, you guys did a decent job. But it seemed like every time you gave a free 90, it was, came yeah. back to haunt you. All three of them, you know, as a result of something we gave up for free. You know, a walk, a walk, and a wild take, a strikeout wild pitch, you know. Uh, just by the catch, a tough, you know, tough block for Alex. But, you know, it's, that's the story of college baseball. You give something away for free, it's usually going to come back and bite you, and that's exactly what happened today in a tight ball game. You know, they're all tight ball games here. Three to two, two to one, that's what it's going to be. And uh, you can't make those mistakes. And if you do make those mistakes, then you hitters got to bail you out. You know, the hitters have to put together a few good, good at bats, like, like they did when they absolutely had to have them. They did it. You know, they executed a slash, and leads to a run on a sacrifice fly. They they, they executed a lot better than we did. What can you say to the guys about that ninth inning to try and carry that over for tomorrow? There's some good at bats there. Yeah, they know they did it. I mean, uh, you know, we were able to score on a guy that hadn't been scored on all year long, and Troy Stefanski, you know, his swing looks like it's coming along pretty well, and he's you know, probably he's going to threaten to get back in there for sure. But uh, I was pleased with him coming off the bench and and uh, doing what he does, go the opposite field really well, hit a ball hard right there. Jack Lambrick. You know, another bright spot, and it looks like he's he's got a feel for for the strike zone. Knows what he's doing at the batter in the batter's box, and I like watching him hit. So um, yeah, that's a bright spot. We, we had some lack of concentration from some of our other guys in the batter's box today, and, and advantage counts, and, and in many cases knowing what was coming and not being able to put a good swing on a pitch or getting emotional and taking too big a swing on something that they, they knew was coming. And that's that's a problem. Thank you, coach. Thanks. Coach.